Hello everyone and welcome to a new uh, video about Intersoft Web Studio. Today I'm going to talk about how you can activate your commercial license, how you can get the site key, how you can get the site code, where you can find the activation key and all the, that terminology that we use to um, describe the licensing processes on Intersoft Web Studio. So the first thing is that uh, you must purchase a license from a distributor. And after purchasing the license, what you will get is, um, is an email that looks more or less like this. So this email is the new email, the new license notification. Um, it's currently being sent by this email address, but this might change in the future. Uh, it includes uh, some important information like your purchase order number, your contact uh, email address here, your license serial number, which is your license identification number, the product that you purchase, including the number of tags, if it's a runtime engineering or only engineering, only runtime, the product version, it's, if it's uh, the, the license is configured to be a side key or hard key, then this part specifies that a hard key is a USB dongle. A soft key is a software-based license that it's linked or it's uh, uh, bound to the computer where the license is installed. Uh, the platform, if it's an embedded or full, run, or full runtime license, in this case, it's a full runtime, and that's why it says PC. If it's temporary license or a, a perpetual license, uh, all that information is here. And as you can see, we don't have uh, the license ID, we don't have the site code, and we don't have the site keyword. The only information that we have on this email is the activation key. So if you click on the activation key, or you click on the button here in the URL here, the hyperlink, you will open the web license generator. If you want to go directly to the web, uh, web uh, license generator on the web on uh, a web browser, you can go to the Indusoft website here. And uh, after that, you need to go, you need to scroll down until the licenses section. You can here you can you you have you have options here to activate the commercial license uh, and educational uh, in of educational versions licenses. So uh, I will take the example for the Indus of Web Studio commercial. And after clicking that, you will have this interface. This is what we call the license generator, the web license generator. So here you will uh, be asked for the activation key, the site code and the email address. As we saw, the activation key is in the email that you re receive when you purchase the license. So it's this code here. You need to copy exactly the same code that you have here in this field, including, um, including all the characters in the, in the activation key. Um, after that, you will need to get the site code. To get the site code, you need to open the, the folder on the start menu folder where you have in the stuff installed. Uh, on this case, I will use in the software still 2020, but the procedure is the same for any other previous version. So you need to find the in the software studio register application and you need to open it. After opening the register application, you will have two options, hard key and soft key. Hard key again is the uh, USB dongle where you can store the license. It makes the license a portable license. And the soft key is if you are if you want to install the license directly on the computer uh, where you are working. So in this case, I will select hard key and click on check. It will tell you that if you are changing the licensing method, if that's okay for you, yeah, continue. And after continuing, you will get the license information. By default, you won't. You will have all this uh, probably with other information because your license is not installed. Or for soft key, you will have all this like uh, not license or no license found. And so if you change license here, you click on the change license button, you will get the change license window with the site code and the site key fields. 
Here you can click on this button to copy the site code and put the site code on this field. After having that, you can put the email address here, your email address, and after clicking on generate site, generate license, the license, the site key will be generated. The, the web license generator will return the site key. So you can copy the site key and paste it, paste it, paste it here, sorry. So after that, if you click authorize, the license will be activated. In the same way, if you have a soft key license, if you click on check, you click on change license, you will get this. And uh, here we have an additional option, which is the network adapter. This is important because the license will be bound to the network adapter that you select here. We will recommend select a network adapter that will be always available. Don't use a VPN uh, network adapter or a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth network adapter. What we will recommend is using always the, an, an Ethernet uh, network adapter, which is always available on your computer. So here you can also copy the site code, paste the site code here, and your email address, and you can generate the license. It depends on which kind of protection type you will use, hard key or soft key. It depends on what you purchase. If you purchase a hard key along with the license, uh, you will probably select hard key. If you if you didn't uh, request that, you didn't request a hard key, you will you should use soft key. So after uh, doing that. As I mentioned, the website will return the site key that you can put on the site key field in the register application. And also you will get a new email, a new email from the same address with more information. In this case, you will get the license ID, the site code that you use to activate the license and the site key that the web license generator was uh, already shown to you, already provided to you. So you have the site key in both, in both sides. You can get the site key from both the, the email or the web license generator and activate it through the register application. So that's basically, basically it. Uh, if you have any question, any comment, please leave that in the comment sections below.